Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to react to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 3. It has been so long since I watched the first two episodes, like well over a week now I'm pretty sure. I've just been way too busy with other things so I just haven't had the time to watch more of this series which has been so sad because it's been something I'm thinking about constantly. The first two episodes were amazing and I've been so keen to continue watching it and just binge the whole season honestly. But time has not allowed it but here I am today for episode three. I'm excited to get back into it and I'm going to make more of an effort to watch these episodes more frequently from here onwards. But from what I recall of the last episode, Itadori is kind of been tagging along with Gojo. Is that how you say it? Go Gojo? Oh god. I'm gonna struggle with this. And he ended up being accepted as a student at the Jiu-Jitsu Academy, I think it's called. So it's him, Fujiguro, and some other girl who are in like the first year together. And I guess we'll be meeting that girl in this episode and things will just go on from there. Sukuna and Gojo are two of my favorite characters already. So I'm just so keen to see more of them in general and also their interactions with each other. But yeah, I don't have many other thoughts about what is going to happen in this episode. I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> Now for uncut reactions and early access to these videos, you can check out my Patreon in the description. Otherwise, please like this video if you enjoy it. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts on this episode. Share, subscribe, whatever else you feel like doing. Any support means the world to me and helps my channel so much. So thank you. And let's get into this episode. Okay, yes. Alright, so I guess we're meeting her straight up. Yeah, it seems like quite a few. Like, not enough, I mean. <laughs> Did he request it or did someone else? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> I love her already. I wonder what her curse is. What sort of power she has. She seems like she's quite a character already. Like, you know, she's got that sort of personality. She's gonna fit in well. So I'm excited to see like that whole group dynamic now. But yeah, I really don't know where it's going now. Like obviously they're going to start tracking down Sukuna's fingers and finding them. Well, like, obviously there's gonna be some things getting in the way. I just wonder what. <laughs> this is definitely going to be interesting. They know they're in for something with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love Gojo. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit shocking, isn't it? <laughs> it is gross. <laughs> my legit thoughts. I can't believe he did that still. But you are a curse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Slaughter demon. Damn. Alright. Well, this was an interesting tour, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Can he, like, actually control when he gets out, though? Or can he only kind of reel him back in at times? These curses are so whack. What? Do you need a receipt? Is that not all it takes for the object to kill it? I thought it would be just a simple stab. The curse would just die. Yeah, he just goes in. <laughs> He's got no fear. He just goes in. I feel like there's some connection between this whole thing and his parents. And the granddad wanted to tell Itadori about his parents before he died, but he refused to. But the grandpa knew something about. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's something. Something going on. 
Oh no, oh that's messed up. Oh god, what are the countryside curses like then? If these are like city ones. Okay. That's kind of cool, but like, <laughs> nailed it. Hell yeah you did, you nailed it. Oh my god, I thought it was something freaky. All right, save the child, quickly. What, 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 what are you doing? What? They have intelligence? Well, they can have intelligence? How many grades are there, by the way? What are you going to do then? Oh. いや、タフ、タフディシジョン。あなた。私だけでも。これです。これです。はい、ロックエディトリーズ Oh. <laughs> yeah, creepy. Okay, that is cool. She's got some cool powers. All as well. They did it. They completed their tour of Tokyo. <laughs> is this a best friend? Oh yeah, like an older sister, I guess. Damn, alright. That's not real nice. What? <laughs> Alright, let's not fight right now, okay? Let's take the kid and go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's hilarious. Is that like really her only reason though? Her only reason? God, that kid's gonna need therapy after that. They are going to bicker constantly, aren't they? <laughs> it's entertaining though, at least. What? Um, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not right. No one died. No one's gonna die. Well, episode three, that was definitely interesting. I love the introduction of Kugasaki and her curse, just all of that. She's got a really strong, fun personality, I guess. She's definitely interesting and I feel like she's gonna fit in so well with the first years, like that whole dynamic there. It's gonna be great to experience that. At this stage, she's always like bickering or teasing Itadori or Fushiguro and I love it so much. Now her curse is pretty cool. It seems she uses like nails and hammer, I guess. Like they're kind of like her main sort of weapon, but she also has like straw dolls and other things that she can use to exercise curses. It kind of seems Seems a bit like it's delving into witchcraft in a sense as in she's got like all these different tools that she can use all these different 
sort of ingredients she can use to eliminate curses. I feel like she's a great addition to the team though, and I'm really keen to see more of her. Now, Itadori, we've known from the beginning, he's got something going on with him. He's got the speed, he's got the strength. There's just like something about him that gives him this ability. Even before Sukuna sort of took over him, he punched a solid concrete wall. He punched a hole through that. Like there is something more to him than just Sukuna being a part of him now. And actually I'm quite sad that we didn't see Sukuna this episode because I really want to see more of him. He is just crazy. He's obviously kind of the, the evil in this sort of situation and I desperately just want to see more of him and his ability, whatever he does, all the crazy shit he does. Now we also learn a bit more about the curses because Goja said that some curses have like intelligence. And that is crazy. Like, I just thought they were kind of dumb things wandering around. You just had to stab them. You're done. You know, <laughs> you move on to the next thing. But no, some of them use intelligence to try and like trick the Jujutsu Sorcerer from attacking and killing them. And that is insane. And that whole scenario there where we had Kugasaki like give up her weapons and all of that in order to try and save this boy, even though she knew it would be best to just try and kill the curse anyway. It's better her living than both of them dying. But that is like a really tough spot to be put in. So screw the curses for doing that. And Gojo said something about they have or they come from human minds. Is that right? I'm gonna have to double check that. But that made a bit of sense because they were saying random things like, do you want a receipt? What time is it? <laughs> like these are all phrases we've heard from curses the past few episodes. So I think that's really interesting. I can't wait to learn more about the curses and all the different grades of curses as well because Fugasaki was saying that the, the one that she was fighting was like grade three, but it was using intelligence. So I wonder how many grades there are. I wonder if there's some sort of like crazy like OP curses. That would be terrifying, but I feel like there would be something like that out there. Maybe like on Sukuna level, but not just a cursed object, like an actual curse. But that ending, so there's a curse at a detention center. Three first year Jujutsu sorcerers enter and only two return. One dies, what? So already I know something's up with that. None of our three are going to die. If they do die, they're gonna come back. <laughs> no one's dying this early on, okay? I also wonder whether it could even be a flashback of some sort. So like, this happened in the past. Maybe there were three first years at this point in time as well. One died, maybe one left. Maybe they all left. And then these new three came along and these are the new three first years. I'm not sure, but surely no one dies. And like I said, if anything, they get brought back. You know, it's probably Itadori who dies and then Sukuna's like, uh-uh, I wanna live. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna happen so easily. But I am looking forward to seeing what all that's about in this next episode. But that was episode three. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, Leave a comment on your thoughts about this episode. My Patreon is in the description as well for those of you who are interested in that. And stick around for future videos.